Kit Basher here. It's time for Star Wars again. It's time for another episode of Six Figures. I just finished a video and I still have those figures sitting here. We just did uh, six figures here with some Ned B, some uh, Inquisitors, uh, and, and uh, Obi-Wan and Grief Karga here. Uh, most of these were Obi-Wan series figures. Grief Karga is one of the Mandalorians. I did get duplicates of Obi-Wan. Um, always Imperial Sentinels here on the shelf to issue everybody. Uh, may the shelf be with you uh, and you too. Um, and uh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I forgot. No, okay. Well, the duplicates, yeah. We got a lot of Ned Bees. I have a total of eight Ned Bees now. It's not near enough. Um, I could double that and still be in need of more. Uh, I want to paint them up and get them as many varieties of colors of them as possible. I want to do a few of them with just different colored arms and repaint that ring to reflect the same detail. And then maybe I want to paint some completely different colors like white, you know, some mix of different almost oranges and greens and different, you know, one panel, one color and like, I don't know, lots of different colors like they're like kit bash from spare parts. So, uh, I don't know why I'm going on about those. That was my last episode of Six Figures. This next episode is... These were all re retro series, but this next episode is a mixture of... Um, well, I guess these Force Link ones are very similar to the retro series. Because if uh, you look at Princess Leia here... Um, she is General Leia Organa at this point. She's General Leia Organa. Now, if you notice, you know she's... It's very interesting. She's got the same pistol she had in the very first um, figure. Like, our Leia with the Cinnabon hairdo. That's, that pistol's very... It's not the same one. It isn't the same one, but it's very similar to what that was with a long, long pistol. They're very interesting. Well, what I was getting at is... That, that figure, even though it's got the Force Link chip in it, which makes it a step above these old retro figures, um, that doesn't excite me so much. But they are, they are a um, five-point of our articulation, so arms, legs, and head. The head turns, the arms go around in a circle like that. Not very displayable outside of you know standing and looking cool. Once again with the Diet Pepsi here. Luke is also that same way. You know, he's got that cool little staff. But, you know, those two, uh, they're, they're together. Um, so, as far as voting on them, that's hard to vote, you know. That's the twins from Star Wars. That's Luke and Leia. That's the brother and sister in the Force that we grew up with. Now they're old, looks a little fat, Leia's kind of a little worse for wear. And uh, um, those two figures are going to be hard to judge. Um, it's gonna be, they're going to be five and six, I'm thinking, because of their five points of articulation. Uh, these figures are many more points of articulation, so they're immediately going to be higher on my list of favorite figures out of the batch. Um, out of, uh, but, uh, you know, had they been bending elbows and turning wrists and turning ankles and able to sit in a chair type of figure, they might be harder to vote on this particular batch of six figures. But, um, I'm immediately kicking them to the end. They're five and six, but they're five and six in the same way that, you know, uh, I guess whichever one came out first, Luke and Leia, I think. Luke came first, Leia came second, I believe. Um, so, yeah, they're at the end because of that five points of articulation. I'm going to move into the rest of them, and um, we'll, we'll find a way to, uh, we're going to find a, well, I can see what's going to happen. These two... They're moving into my favorites, but they're identical to one another. They are the same exact figure. Um, I plan on opening both of them. So even though they are both Death Star droids, they might very well have a different designation. 
one might get a little bit of painting done to make maybe a leg be a different color. One's a little bit like maybe spare parted or whatever. But right now, as far as an unopened action figure, getting ready to open them, yeah, they're they're together. And uh, it's a figure that I already have before, so kind of sometimes I have this rule if it's a, if it, if it's a figure that I already have before, it's the same sculpt that I have for this figure, but it's uh, an earlier version. It doesn't have the silvery color. It's a little more muted, flat silver, but it's the same droid. It's the the one from the three pack, the Death Star droid we would have got as a kid. Um, but it's not, you know, it's the same mold with this points of articulation. It came in the three pack. It was an R5D4, a Death Star droid, and um, oh, one other figure, and it, it escapes me. Oh, a power droid. It was a power droid. Yeah, so I got those three droids in a three pack uh, a few years ago. Um, and I just, I got them in a resale shop for a couple of bucks. So, um, that, so I have this one. And then I have, in my old collection at my sister's house, I, I'm sure I have a couple of these. Silver, black, and um, maybe a couple of each. It seems like there was another color that I got in the, in the Legacy collection that was another color variation on this. I don't remember now. I'll have to crack open those tubs and see. But because it's a figure I already have, I'm going to move them to the middle, which immediately makes them interchangeable as four and five. So they're going to be number four and five here on this list. So now I've got to decide out of these two relatively cool looking action figures. Is it going to be Cassian Andor, is it, or is it going to be the Phase 2 Clone Trooper? I just got a Cassian Andor, and uh, he ended up being number one of those action figures because he had many points of articulation. He was a Black Series figure, and um, yeah, I hadn't opened any Black Series figures. Uh, that was my first black series and then I did a Ponda Baba that was also a black series recently I just did an opening so uh, but Cassian Andor ended up being up at the top of the list of, 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 of uh, video and um, oh I think I might see that box in here ah I have a Ponda Baba he was supposed to be in this batch. Ha. Huh. I am going to shovel him off to the other batch. So I got four. I only need to get two more figures for my next uh, episode of six figures that way. Um, I, I didn't mean to kick him. I didn't mean to kick him back. It was an accident. He fell off of the table. So I completely forgot about it. Um, back to what I was doing though. So now I got to decide. I had a Cassian Andor from uh, his uh, blah, 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 Rogue One figure. And it was a pretty cool figure. And he ended up being number one in that batch of six figures. This guy's looking pretty cool, though, because he's much... He's going to sit... I can tell you where he's going to go. He's going to go up there with Biggs, uh, Miggs Mayfield and um, uh, Din Djarin that are also wearing an Imperial uniform and blending in. Um... So he's definitely, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's number one or not. And then I have the same thing with uh, my clone trooper here. My clone trooper is pretty badass, but you know, I guess I go by accessories here. He's got a helmet, he's got a rifle, and he's got a blaster. So he's got three accessories. Plus the multi-articuration, and he's a, a Phase 2 clone trooper, and he's my first one in the collection. Obviously, next time I see one, I'll buy a few of them, because it's troop building. You want to buy a few of them. So, you, you know, you want to get one of your action figures arrested by stormtroopers, you, you know, 
you want three or four of them to have these rifles, and you want a couple of them to have the pistol, and then uh, most of them wearing their helmets, and maybe one of them's got his helmet off, sitting next to an Imperial officer, and they're like having a discussion with somebody they're about ready to incarcerate. But uh, I think that makes this. I think this is what it's going to be. I think it's going to be number two is going to be Andor because he's just got a lousy pistol. And he's just an officer. But hey, it's, it's, it's a cool officer. It's going, to, um, it's going to blend in really nice on the shelf with the other ones. So I'm going to call him number two. And I'm going to call him number one. I'm going to call this guy number one. So let's, let's open them. Let's get them open. Let's get them open. All right. I just thought about something. I might have, I might actually do another episode of Six Figures tonight. There's a lot of stuff to upload this week, but why not? Why not? So, okay. How are we going to do this? Um, We're going to open Han and Lu... Uh, Han and Lu... Uh, huh? Luke and Leia. I I feel they're the same. I'm gonna open Leia first because ladies first. Huh. All right. You know how we do this. Guns go first. Um. Let's put that right there. So we're going to move some of these Ned Bees down. Uh-huh. Sorry, Mr. Imperial Sentinel. We're going to move. Only one left is clothes laying around. So anyway, let's get Leia out of her box here. And, uh... We got this Obi-Wan cloak I want to get just kind of off to the side here. I don't want to lose this lightsaber. We're going to just kind of put that right there. Got a Ned B. And we got this guy here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so number five and six are going to be Leia. Leia, I'm going to give you your little uh, firearm here because uh, you use it to shoot Poe Dameron with. And uh, she always has her laser gun on stage done. You know what? She's going to look pretty cool looking uh, next to uh, Grief Karga because they have the gold trim on their uniforms. Let's check this out. I'm going to put her like uh, right here next to Grief Karga. You notice how the, uh, I don't know if you notice it, if you can see it, but um, if you look at her uh, outfit, she's got some gold trim on the arms. So yeah, that kind of, that, that's really neat. That really kind of pops out. So Let's get her over here next to the Inquisitors in the back row. Now let's get her brother out there. Uh, I'm disrespecting this package totally. First of all, it's a smaller packaging. It's kind of like, yeah, they were trying to uh, cut corners and stuff. You could see they were losing their minds, trying to figure out new ways to do what they were doing. And, uh, yeah. It wasn't a gimmick that really sold well. I, don't, I haven't seen any Force Link uh, things come out in recent years. So so this is a really cool looking figure though. Um, I'm, in, I'm not gonna lie, I like that cloak. I like that whole get up right there. Again, this doesn't have to be Luke Skywalker. This could just be some random bloke uh, uh, bouncing around in my diorama. Um, it does have the ability to, um, I can remove that hood. That's very cool. So um, a lot of this um, stuff is removable. So 
I could do a lot of things with this action figure, like, uh, I could, if I really wanted to go crazy, I could put I could put this old Obi-Wan cloak on him. Hmm, what would that look like? Let's see. Ha ha, Kit Basher. I'm already screwing with this action figure. And I haven't even done my opening fully. Ha ha. I just want to see what this is going to look like. I've gone this far into it, I almost have to do it now. This is this is totally in the spirit of what this channel is all about, by the way. Kit Basher. Let's give Luke a little bit better bathrobe than what he had going in. Let's see what happens when I give him there. Well, I tell you what, that almost doesn't even fit on him, but I did it, so. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot better. Let's do that. I'm going to leave it that way. And you know what? His hand does turn around. The hand does twist on these. I don't know what kind of weapon this is that he's carrying, but okay, I'm done mess messing around with him. Check that out. Yeah, he looks miserable. Look at him. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, he caught Ray's saber. <sighs> With his left hand again. Oh, shucks. See old action figure blues where the damn thing doesn't want to stand up properly. So, yeah, this is one of those things where you kind of have to... There we go. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty cool. So let's take a break from that for a second. I want to try something. Let's take this vest that I just took off of Luke and let's throw it on Obi Dooby Stooby Looby Cooby Dooby Stooby Gooby Dooby Dooby Scooby. Okay. Oh, it's already shaping up to be a completely new figure because look at that. All right. So look what we just did with Obi Wan. That's cool. I'm going to pick up another Luke just so I can have one to do that stuff with. Oh, and then, like, I can totally put this over his face. Yeah, check that out. Fucking A. Oh, pff, I swore. Sorry. Hey, that looks cool. Yeah, yeah, I just created, like, a whole new character out of that. Like, here, I'll just move it around. Like, that's something my brother and I might have done. And then, you know, with a little bit of paint, we would have changed that character and made it into somebody completely different. You know? So, because, yeah. Look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi character with his cloak and everything. And now look at this kit bashing of the exact same character. You know? See? 
what kind of world building you can do with a little bit of creativity like that. And I don't have two Lukes to do, to, to, to do it with, but I do love the fact that I just completely just changed him by adding the lightsaber and, and the cloth cape. And now I like the fact that the cloth cape isn't just sitting there off to the side it's looking stupid. So, hey, number uh, three and four, Death Star Droid. Death Star Droid. I think this is one of the ones that my brother always had that he dug. Now, you know, Death Star Droid doesn't have any, um, anything to write home about as far as accessories. He's just a cool looking droid. So let's just kind of turn him sideways and these arms are like... Make him kind of walk a little bit. And now... Okay, so noticing there's some limitation on there. He is there now standing somewhat correctly. Ah, okay, there's that. That was a little tricky. Beautiful card back, though. I'll show you this again before. But again, these are the, the vintage collections, so when they redo a figure, even though they update the figure from the old 80s version with more points of articulation, they use the same card back and the same piping and all that stuff, and they make it, they put the Kenner logo on there like as if it was originally done. And it just brings the experience back to, you know, being a little closer to being a kid and open these uh, figures up for first time except for like god like i'm opening more figures up in one day than i opened up in entire in an entire year this would have been two birthdays and two christmases worth of figures you just didn't get figures like you know they didn't produce as many back then and when it comes down to it it was a very short period of time Compared to what today, I mean, when they came back out in the mid 90s, like around 95, and they never stopped coming out. Every year, there's been another batch of Star Wars figures for some reason or another. This just has. Just can't deny it. It's just been a thing every year. I had to take a break a little while. I got back into it in the 90s, and it has outlasted. It's it has definitely outlasted its original. Um, its original run, which was from 77, so actually 78, through 85, 86. By 86, they weren't producing anything else. It was, everything was being cleared out. So those two Death Storage rights look pretty darn cool. They're falling over. I think I want to take these guys and move them back a little bit. Move her back just a tiny bit. I want to sit him up like a so. Maybe, maybe this one's sitting down. And he's reaching over saying something to his buddy.
almost made it. Whew. Okay. There. That's uh, number five and six, or five and six, five and six, however you want to look at it. Number three and four. Obviously, the two Death Star droids. And let's uh, let's open Andor up. Let's get him out. Andor. Andor. Very cool card. Very cool looking figure. Time to disrespect the package. Mm -hmm. It's a longer video. I fiddled around a little bit. All right, Andor. There's your pill case. Uh -huh. Got a cool little Imperial Blaster, very cool, uh, much like Migs Mayfield and uh, oh, uh, Din Djarin had. Oh, and a removable hat, that's so cool. We can even put that hat on one of our droids. You know, at one time I was an Imperial officer. Well, very interesting. Alrighty. He has a very cool pistol holder. Very, very cool. I'm going to put the pistol in his hand very quickly. So, bam, this is a very cool looking figure. What are you doing? I'm going to shoot you if you don't tell me where I can buy some tacos. I'm just kidding. Do you see me now? This is much better. I have a very nice little uh, pistol I would like to show you. It is uh, very nice. So look at it. Uh, look at this pistol. This is close of focus again. It's an Imperial Isho pistol. I got it. I stole it. I borrowed it. I killed the guy. I took it from him. I also took his clothes. He smells really bad. I wish I could take a shower now, but I don't have time. I have to make this mission and kill a bunch more guys. And maybe I'll, if the guy doesn't smell so bad, maybe I'll take his clothes instead. But uh, right now I have to get going. Uh, but uh, some stupid droid stole my hat. I want to get it back because... Uh, I don't want to be recognized because uh, they killed a bunch of guys. Okay, I'll be right back. You need to give me my hat back right now. Oh, sorry. Oh. And I uh, put my hat back on. There we go. See, now I look uh, like a proper Imperial officer. There's shadows. Uh, it's covering my eyeballs. And if I tip it forward just a little bit more, then... I, I don't look like anybody except for an Imperial officer who doesn't know how to wear a hat. And then so I could put it on backwards, and then I'm like a cool homeboy. Like, I disrespect everybody. I wear my shit backwards, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, we're not going to do that. Just put the hat on like a uh, normal guy would wear a hat. And uh, there we go. Let's do... Just like that. I look like an Imperial officer who needs a shower. And uh, need a little bit of shore leave, maybe. Uh, go to Coruscant, buy some beers. But, uh, okie dokie. So, Cassian Andor signing out. I'm going to go stand on the shelf next to me, droid friend over there. And uh, his name is uh, Steve and uh, Bob are their names. Uh, don't, the Death Star droid thing. It's just, uh, yeah, they all get called that. They don't really like it. They got names, and uh, they're very different people, okay? So just, you know, remember, remember that next time, okay? Okie dokie. Andor is all being, like, politically correct and shit. So what do you think? Do you want to hold on to your blaster, or do you want to put it in your holster? Nah. Well, it's really cool you can put the blaster in the holster. But he only came with one weapon, so I kind of want to display him holding his, his weapon. Because that looks cool. There we go. Now. Ah. Ah. Boom. Mandor, Mandor, Schmandor, but Andor. Holy moly. Clone Trooper, Scooper, Pooper. He's my number one in this batch of six figures. I'm going to crack the corner. Oh, crack and open the package. Ah. 
Oh, some of you people hate it when it. Now oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at these ones. I don't have those yet. I gotta get those. Uh, Admiral Peart, Hunter, Cassian Andor, Clone Trooper, Star Killer, Cal Kestis, Vel Sethra, and Cassian Andor. Yeah, I didn't see all those. I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled. So let's get him out of there. Let's get the helmet. And show them the pads. A blaster. And rifle. And now let's get our clone out of his box. Go that way. All right. Very much like the clones I have up on my shelf. Very, very articulated little figure. He can kick. He can run. He can take the knee. He might just take a knee. So, here's what I'm going to do, because I want to display him immediately with his uh, um, long rifle. And I want to put him on his knee. I'm going to put Cassian's blaster. I'm going to put his blaster in the holster. I'm going to give him this gun. And I'm going to have to look down here and see where his helmet, his hat went. Because the guy's having a hell of a time holding on to his hat today. So Cassie and Andrew just got upgraded. He borrowed a rifle from this guy. I'm going to put this guy's rifle in his hand. I've had a few of them that I have displayed like this in the Stormtrooper and Clone Trooper line. And I do like being able to put both hands on the long rifle. There we go. And display it that way. It was actually, there's actually something written on the inside of that thigh of that character, and I can't really see what it is. I take a note of that. I'm taking note of that because I'm going to get a, a close-up photograph of that. And this guy, I think, is just sitting here idly talking to Cassie and Andor. Uh. Do you know what happened to my hat? Yeah, uh, you dropped it. It's down under this table. Oh, okay. Don't mind getting it for me. Let's see if we can find it. We lost Cassian's hat. Um... Hope this isn't like my, uh, experience with, uh, Endor Leia, where I, I lost her helmet forever. Nope, there it is. I think I know where it's at. Hey, that looks funny. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to go with that. So this is pretty interesting. 
He stole Cassian's hat. I'm going to leave it like that. I think it's kind of funny. Maybe he's going to offer Cassian his helmet instead. Nah. You know, I think it would be funnier is if uh, he uh, had Cassian's hat and he was handing it back to him. Yeah, that's probably... There we go. Since these are my two favorite, I'm going to show you why. Because I like the world building aspect of it. So I like the idea that I could put in the background Cassian, uh, like, getting his hat handed back to him by an Imperial officer. You know, moments before the battle breaks out and he actually shoots the guy. There. That's pretty cool looking. I don't know if you can see it. So this is, this is what we've got today. Oops, I lost my camera again. That happens an awful lot. I don't like it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very, very cool. So um, I think that concludes this episode of Six Figures. It's a half-hour video. That's pretty long. I want to do one more. Six more figures. See you in a minute.